Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of my beautiful and delicious and wonderful little beans out there. Now then, let's just put a little bit of light on the subject. So three, two, one, beam me up, Scotty. Oh, right, they're not working very well. Okay, just please just give me a moment. Something's gone wrong here. Mind you, I usually always check my lights, but uh, obviously, right. Please bear with me a moment, and I'm gonna go and get a refill. Hold on, please, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, oh dear. Oh, dear. Right, sorry about that to everybody, right, okay, so we're going to start again, right, because I usually always check my lights, but obviously for some reason I have not, there we go, so we've now got a refill with our beautiful little Duracell, so there we go, they're juicy and delish. Right, now then, I was supposed to, yesterday evening, right, I was supposed to continue doing readings and doing everything, but what actually happened was, and I've got to be honest, that I had a telephone call. So what I was supposed to be doing, I ended up not doing. Do you see what I mean? So I was supposed to... Uh, talk about the latest with these newspapers here. I was supposed to do my uh, short, quick reads. So I'm awfully sorry about that, okay? But the fact of the matter is, is that I was doing a, um, well, I was meant to be doing readings and doing everything, but anyway, it never ended up that way. And now I've got my beautiful little mates. Would you like to come and say hello? Say hello, little mates. Say hello, Say hello, hello. See, this is my beautiful little maze. Okay, there she is, look. Okay. Mm. Mm. There we go, my little babe. Okay, so she's just, you know, I do not eat on this table, by the way. I just need to let you know that. Okay, it's solely for the purpose of doing readings. Okay, but she does like to come on the table. Okay, so I just thought I'd let you just uh, all know that, my little lovelies. Right, now then, so I want to discuss today, because, I mean, even though I do readings, you know, and anyway, there's, there's mixed views on this, okay, which I will be posting on uh, my other site, okay, because, simply because, you know, at the end of the day, I... <sighs> You know, I like to know what's going on around the world. I like to know what's rocking and rolling. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, and I like to know, do forgive the expression, because I have to be very, very careful what I say, because the little bends, you know, and everything like that. But the fact of the matter is, you know, this this is this shite that we've been fed. Do you see what I mean? It seems to be on a regular basis. See, my shoulder's got confirmation. You know, it seems to be like a, a regular thing, doesn't it? Do you just me? Now, yesterday, like, I never, ever, ever buy a newspaper. I never, ever, ever buy a newspaper. Right? And when I was 11, when I was 11 years of age, I used to deliver uh, newspapers. Right? And in fact, I actually um, delivered newspapers to a... Uh, I'm not sure if you, you'll remember them because they, they, they never really, they had one uh, uh, hit and it was Musical Youth and it was Pass the Dutchie Bunny Left and Side. Me said, Pass the Dutchie Bunny Left and Side. Yes. 
and I actually delivered uh, newspapers to their dear mum, you know. Hmm. Okay. And that's when I was 11. And my sister's, God bless her, and my sister's BMX and I used to be able to do wheelies. I could uh, ride a bike, you know, with my hands behind my back, you know, just going in all different directions. But, you know, without even having to use my hands. Do you see what I mean? I used to be able to do a lot of things. I used to be with the old BMXs. I used to be able to jump with it. So actually lift the, the, the bike up and do jumps. Do you get what I mean? I was I was very much like a tomboy in those days. Do you get what I mean? It's like, you know, I just, I just enjoyed all the things. that I used to play football with the lads. I, I, I used to do all of those things. Do you, get, do you get where I'm coming from, sweet? You know, I wasn't really one like to play with dollies and do all that sort of thing. You know, I'd rather climb trees. I'd rather do all these sorts of things, you know? Okay? So I'm just... Making a point here now and then. I used to also like going on swings, but I used to like jumping off swings as well. So when they're up in the air, just as they're up in the air, just whoom, just jump off. Do you get me? Do you see how it's gone lighter now, what I've just said? Do you know what I mean? So if you stay on the swing, swingy, 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 then you're going to get what you're going to get. You're going to get old-fashioned Jamaican saying, my dear Kaz always says it. Old-fashioned Jamaican saying, you're going to get what a duck gives you. But if you jump off, okay, then that's when it's going to be better for you. Okay, see, shoulders going up. Do you see? So anyway, I want to focus today, uh, and, you know, before I do all of my readings, okay, I want to focus, it's all right, I'm looking at my wig, actually, my wig looks fine today, actually, right, I want to focus on some of the latest what is in the news, now I am going to need to use my uh, glasses at the moment, simply because, uh, you know, the writing's so small. I don't know if you've ever noticed that with newspapers. You know, I've never really paid much attention. Please just let me have a sip of coffee, please, and thank you, thank, thank you. Oh, delicious mug. That's Kenko, by the way. Anyway, I'm not advertising Kenko. I'm just saying it's delicious. Right, now then. I need to put my glasses on here, right? Because we need to see a little bit about what's going on in the world right now, okay? And uh, I'm only gonna say like uh, a number of things, okay? But it's just things that I, I, you know, I seem to scan across, if you know what I mean, because I, I'm just that kind of a woman, really. Like I scan over things, do you get me? Like I'm not one who sort of, um, it's, it's like when I read, I mean, I said this to my dad, you know, uh, a few years ago. I says, you know what, Dad? I says, this is what I do. I says, I tend to read backwards. And he sort of went, ah, oh, yeah, because it's broad Yorkshire, right? So he must have thought, oh, I've got a flipping wrong in here. Do you get what I mean? Well, I'm not. What it is... It's like, you know, like when you read the start of a story or you read the start of something, I always go backwards. So I start at the, the back and then I work my way up. Do you get what I mean? So in other words, I already know what the ending to the story is, which I already know in my noddle, in my mind, right? But I just tend to go backwards. So I just read it from, you know the bottom to the top, if you know what I mean. It's really hard for me to explain it to you. Because you must remember, like I said before, well, I, actually, I haven't said it before. It's, life is like a book. So there is a beginning, there's a middle, and there's an end. Do you see what I mean? But I have a tendency to look at the ending first. Do you see what I'm saying, sir? Shoulders going up. Okay. So I, I just need to have a little look here just to see the show to what's coming out in the newspapers now then. Let's take a look. We're actually going to start actually. Where is it? 
that I've just been looking at. Sorry, do forgive me. I'll find it in a moment. Oh, hold on. One second. Sorry about this, everybody. I did have... Oh, there we go. Here we go. Okay. Cane Bridges step in for Absent Queen. Ah. Right. What's the Queen's absent? She's 95, isn't she? Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. And, I mean, when you look at them, I mean, you know, you've got this Kate, you've got this uh, William, you've got this, uh, what's her name, Charlotte, and you've got this, what's his name, George. And every time you look at George, you know, he never looks happy in front of the camera. Never looks happy, you know. You know, almost like, uh, you know, he, he just doesn't want to be in that place, if you know what I mean. Do you, do you know what I mean? He's like a little young Ben, but you must always remember, and I always say this to anybody, you must always remember with any young Ben, okay, that they are the ones who hold the key. And the reason why I say this is because they're innocent. See, when they're young like that, you know, it's like they're very open to spirit. I said to you before on another video, this is what they do. So they usually know if something's not good. Okay, so that young lad there, he knows fully well that something's not right. Okay? The things are not rocking and rolling here. And, uh, yes, so let's just have, I'll just take out, you know, little paragraphs. Okay, I'm not one just to read through everything. You know what I mean? I'm not at university. This is not a university challenge at the end of the day. I just take bits and pieces out. I'm in pieces, bits and pieces. Remember what I said? When you're looking at these who are suited and booted in the best of flipping clobber, okay? I mean, it doesn't bother me anyway. I mean, I'll wear, uh, I mean, I've had many uh, posh clothes, but I'm quite happy just to wear a flipping five pound top or a two pound. It doesn't, doesn't bother me. Do you know what I mean? I do not live my life off, oh, yes, yeah, status. Like, I've got to have this, I've got to have that. No, I do not. If something looks good on me and it's been made with love and it could cost three quid, well, I'll, I'll wear it. Because at the end of the day, at least you've got something on your flipping back. Do you know what I mean? But not these pieces of shite. Anyway, let's just read. So let's just see what it says, shall we? For the ones, these here, who have not been taught any different. Because how can they be? Because at the end of the day, they're surrounded by a load of shite. So let's just read, shall we? Please and thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. The Duke and Dust... Oh, sorry. Let's rewind. <whistles> the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were the most senior members of the royal family at the Easter Day service, which the Queen missed for the first time in 52 years. Right now, 52, so let's break that down to seven, shall we? I actually have seven in my, uh, in my birth date. Right? Very important number, that number seven. Right? Funny, isn't it, how the Queen, let's just uh, look back at this. I, I do not care what anyone says to me, because I know for a fact that my videos are not going to be taken down. They're not. So, I know that they're not, because I'm getting nothing across my shoulders. Because whoever it is just looks at me as if say, oh, she's, you know, she's half cut or she's, she just for being nutcase. Everybody's a fruit and nutcase. Cadbury's chocolate bar, isn't there? Fruit and nut. Yes. Funny that, isn't it? Not ha-ha. Right? So, the fact of the matter is, the Queen hasn't been appearing for many things, has she? Let's just have a coffee, please, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Coffee's a bit like uh, Columbia, isn't it? I've just got to mention this, sorry. Just something's just came into my head. You know. 
bit like the old uh, drugs, isn't it? I actually watched a program on that, actually, some years ago, where uh, they uh, work program, isn't it? Programming, <whistles> right? Where, you know, you see how the drugs are made, like the cocaine, like all that. Okay? It's all right. A lot of the, the little bands, God bless them, you know, they're, they're not going to see this anyway. Bless the beautiful dear little hearts who follow me. They're not going to see because I've got nothing across my shoulders. I won't even see this, okay? What I'm saying to you is, is this, cause I, because I do consider them, right? What I'm saying to you is, is this. It's like, you know, it's like Coca-Cola, isn't it? Well, it's in the, it's in the name, isn't it? Coca-Cola, Coke. I mean, please do not get me wrong. I mean, I've enjoyed the odd uh, glass of Coca-Cola. I've enjoyed it myself. You know, if I've been on holiday or whatever I've been doing, I, of course I enjoy the odd glass. You know what I mean? I say, uh, of course, but uh, I mainly like water and juice and things like that. But, you know, I am partial to the, uh, the old uh, bit of the Coca-Cola. Do you know what I mean? But what I'm saying to you is, is this. I mean, it's like coffee. I mean, like... Again, we're back at the, the, the coffee thing. Now, coffee is good in moderation. I mean, yes, we know it's caffeine. Yes, we know everything. Because anything with an in on the end and anything with an an on the end is addictive. We all know that. Well, you, for some of you, you may not know that. Okay? But it is. Okay? But what I'm saying is, is at the end of the day, if it's, it's uh, drunk in moderation, it's not bad for you at all. I mean, they say that, you know, about tea, you know. Do, do, do you know what I mean? You cannot say. I mean, I mean, I love a strong cup of tea. I mean, I'm the first one to say I love a strong cup of tea, but at the same time, I've got to be honest with you. I must just be honest. I was brought up with coffee. We very rarely ever had a tea bag in the house until my dear Nana, God rest her beautiful dear soul, she's broad Yorkshire, that she came and she only drank tea. She only had coffee at 11 o'clock in the morning and that was a milky coffee, half milk and half water. And she used to have a little sweetener with it. My dear Nana. Good evening, your beautiful dear Nana. Okay? So what I'm saying to you is, is that, you, you know, it... it Everything that you're told is bad is actually not bad for you. Do you see what I mean? But everybody seems to have this different... Everybody has their different views, do they not? Of what they see as good and what they see as bad. Do you see? It's like some years ago, what was it now? Some years ago, everybody was saying, oh, the queen doesn't like garlic. The putrid flipping queen, she is a piece of shite she is. And she is. Or do you think she's lasted till the age of flipping 95? Anyone who lasts till that age has done something wrong, let me tell you. I do not care what anyone tells me. God, dear Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the dear creator, see how it's gone light, loves the bloody truth. Wicked woman. She just gone ahead with things, even even with her husband. Well, anyway, he was worse than her. Right? The fact of the matter is, look at them. But anyway, this is what we're seeing here. So let's just read. Please and thank, thank, thank you. Because anyone who lives to that age is just wicked. And I do not care what any of you say out there. Uh, my beautiful little subscribers. Oh, God, love you. I'm blowing you loads of kisses, okay? Anyone who stumbles across me, well, you can just say what you like. The fact of the matter is I'm telling it the way it is and some man and woman do not like it. But like I said, God and our creator and Jesus Christ and Nazareth, dear God, we love the truth. When they got full and plenty, and I seen yesterday when I went out with my beautiful dear little friend Yaz, and she's so beautiful, 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 that, you know, we met a lady on the street, sat down, you know, on the street, 
So don't tell me about the flipping queen and all this. I don't want to hear it. Right? Load of shite they are. And look at them. Look at them. Take another look. I want you to take a look. Look. When they're laughing their flipping heads off at us. Right? And there's others around the world. And they used to come just to come and see them. Why? I mean, I live in Birmingham. I mean, London is somewhere up the road. Anyway, I pass through London. London's not my kind of place. I don't like the place myself personally. It's not somewhere where I've ever wanted to go. No, it isn't. Disgusting. Disgusting. You know, I even seen on the TV, you know, there's been all sorts of things and terror. Do you know what I mean? Because you got London, then you got a separate part of London. And I know all about that, by the way, because I've already done my research all into it, my little lovelies. So you've not only got London, but you've got a different part of London. And I've known this for years. So I have. And a lot do not know this. Some do, there we go. Some do and some do not. Okay? So I'm just letting you know. So let's just uh, proceed with reading, shall we? And see the shite that they're coming out with now while they're suited and booted and dressed in the best when you've got a lady, like I said, who we met yesterday, my beautiful, 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 God bless her, our beautiful dear little Yasma, my beautiful dear little Salva. We met this dear lady on the street and I give her hugs and kisses because it doesn't matter if she's had a battle or not. It doesn't matter. The fact is, I still kissed her forehead, I still stroked her hair, and I still hugged her. And if my dear friend, my beautiful, beautiful dear little Yaz was here now, she'd tell you so. I, I do not care if they've had a battle or not, it doesn't bother me. They are a man or a woman, and she happened to be a woman. And she's gone through a terrible, terrible time in her life. And then you see this. You see? And there's bands out there, you know, with families. I've already done a video anyway a few days ago. And then you got, you, you know, you got families where they're having to go to, I never mentioned this on that actually, but they're having to go to blue in food banks. And you see these pieces of shite because they sold the soul to the devil. Because that's what it is, it's a devil, wicked and evil, putrid up there. Anyway, they're not higher, I keep, I don't know why we say higher, I, right, they're not higher, we just say that, so we have to give some sort of flipping name to them, right? But they're not higher, they're scum, and what they've been using, Especially with, you know, man and woman, yes? Especially anyone with a business mind. I've clocked it. I've clocked it all, what's going on, right? Now, they may feel that they're exceptionally clever, but they are working behind the scenes because they're seeing how everybody else has uh, learned and evolved. That's what they're doing. Bang, bang, bang. See? So they're learning off the really, really clever businessman and woman. That's what they're doing. And that's how they've got away with things as long as they have. And, and something else that I do not agree with as well is that blooming apprentice. Yes. When you watch The Apprentice, I, I, I think, I, I, in fact, I haven't even watched a full uh, episode, to be quite honest. Please let me just have a coffee, please, and thank, thank, thank you. Look what happened to my beautiful, beautiful and delicious little Marilyn Monroe. Now, some are saying that she's alive. Well, please, and thank, thank, thank you. Some are saying that she's still alive. Well, I mean, I hope to dear God, Jesus Christ, Nazareth, that she got some life, for, you know, and she's alive. But what I'm saying to you is, is this. Right? The fact of the matter is, even with that apprentice, I mean, 
you watched ones who, you know, they did their best. I mean, like I said, I never even watched just one one episode all the way through because it just wasn't my thing. Do you know what I mean? I just wasn't into that sort of shite, if you know what I mean. But the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, it's like, oh, they have to be a certain way. They have to do this. They have to do that. Uh, right? In order to make things work. We well, never had that years ago, did you, with businessmen? With business gentlemen and business women. I'm not going to call them ladies because I've met a few uh, business women and they're not ladies, let me tell you. Right? Mind you, some of the men, they're not gentlemen. Right? The ones who I trust, I'm telling you, and I was around businessmen for 10 years, let me tell you, and the ones that I trust, are the ones who you can see what's going so who you can see what's going on. Do you know what I mean? And they call a spade a spade. And that's not a racist, that's not anything, by the way. So don't even go there with me, anybody out there, right? Don't try and use words with me. Because you're not gonna come off very well, my little lovelies, right? Because I'm not in the mood for flipping plane. I'm making a point that some of the the, uh, the men out there, the gentlemen who are, you know, who are um, businessmen, business gentlemen, and I've met some flipping mighty, flipping great ones, bang, 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 right? They're the ones who you trust. Not the flipping shite that now they're like little robots. <laughs> do you see what I mean? Told what to do. I don't think so. I know plenty of beautiful uh, business gentlemen. Well, I may not know them personally, but anyway, the fact of the matter is they'd run the, our countries flipping like clockwork beautifully. Get rid of this shite and get rid of that flipping higher up. Anyway, they're not higher up, like I said, they're scum. And I want you to know it as well, you are scum. You're scum. And I want you to know it. And anyway, you already know. Because you all clock everything, do you not? And some may say, oh, I'm on one. Well, say what you like. Because my beautiful and delicious, God bless you, my beautiful and delicious little daughters and my beautiful and delicious little subscribers. You all know me by now. You know when I'm on one and you know when I've got something to say. But what I say, I, I make a point to, okay? Like, you know, like, I don't know, I keep getting Monsoon. There's a shop called Monsoon. I used to um, buy my beautiful little daughter. Oh, God bless her beautiful dear little soul. God love her. I used to buy my beautiful dear little Mika when she was a baby. I used to buy her all the stuff from Next. And um, there's a shop called Next. And uh, I used to, you know, get some stuff from, uh, uh, where is it, uh, Monsoon. Uh, I don't know why, I just keep getting Monsoon. Right, expensive uh, gear. Right, let me just have a look. William and Kate were accompanied by two of their children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte. Well, they're not princes and they're not princesses. They're bloody nothing. They're no different. I call my beautiful dear little daughters Princess Mika and Princess Rosaria. And I call them that because they are... They're the real bloody princesses, not these pieces of shite. Let's just read. Please and thank you, thank you, thank you. As they walked in the sunshine. Oh, in the sunshine. So, you know, when occasionally when we get sunshine. Ah, yes, the sun's shining on Windsor Castle, isn't it? It's the first time that the Queen has been absent from the service since 1970. Mm. Funny that, isn't it? Not flipping ha ha. Let's have a look. When she was on tour of Fiji. Fiji! Oh yes, we can look at the water of Fiji. I know all about the water there. And I also, look at this, me wig. And I know all about what else went on in Fiji. 
And I want you all, okay? Because I know the little bands, God love them, God bless the beautiful dear souls. They're not even going to look at this video, okay? Go on, duck, duck, go, and look at Uncle Sam's snuff factory. Look at everything, right? We know all about flipping Fiji and everything that went on, just like the panda. You know the panda that you see with the little beautiful panda bear with a bit? Yes. Let me proceed, shall we? Get me on one, I'm deadly, let me tell you. There we go, Fiji, Australia and New Zealand. Yeah, because they knew what they could do over there. <laughs> I just got tunnels, actually. Okay, they knew what they were doing, they knew. Piece of shot they are. Right, Buckingham Palace declined to comment, so yes, on a newspaper report that it would no longer confirm the Queen's presence at an event until the day it was due to take place. The Queen 95, there we go, Queen 95. I've done a previous video actually, where my dear daughter, uh, sorry, oh, I say my dear daughter, oh God, rest of beautiful dear so Actually, my dear, uh, beautiful and delicious little friend of 29 years, okay? She's actually godmother to my eldest daughter, okay? And uh, her life number's 9999, nine, nine, nine. as I mentioned on a previous video. My life numbers, you know, it totals 2 and 3, which comes to 5. Yes, I can count. Let me just read. Please and thank you, thank you, thank you. Was absent from the more day, more, more day, yes. More day, uh, Thursday service in Windsor last week. The first time she has missed since 1970. So... What I'm saying is, right, when she attended the memorial service of the Duke of Edinburgh last month, AIDS said only that she was expected to attend before her arrival at Westminster Abbey, which, of course, they're the most corrupt you can get, aren't they? Let's take a look at all the churches, shall we? And how corrupt it is. Because what it is, everybody's been worked. I'm going to close that for now. Everybody's been worked from somewhere else, aren't they? Because you see, you know these churches with all religion and if anybody wishes to fall out with me, your religion is your religion, that's up to you. I have a freedom of speech and I'm going to say it and I do not agree with it, just like I do not celebrate Christmas, Easter, okay? I do not celebrate, in fact, I believe that our birthdays I mean, at one time, I used to celebrate my birthday for a week anyway. Well, that's when you're younger. You since grow up. Do you sort of mean you grow up over the years and then you realise that really your birthday is every single day that you're alive? Do you sort of mean? And another thing I want to say about Easter as well, just like Christmas. I mean, I mentioned it on another video anyway, but the fact is I never said the reason why. So I'm going to give you sort of like a little inkling to how my mind... Uh, Ticks, right? It's a bit like Christmas, isn't it? Why is it that in one country everybody's celebrating Easter or Christmas or anything like that, yes? And then in another country, yes, and on another week and on another day they're celebrating. Why is that then? See how it's gone dark, see? I'm just making the point. So why is it in one place and why is it in another place? One has got to... Ask themselves a question that. Sorry, they need to. Let me just rewind. They need to question it. That's why, even when it's my birthday, I mean, please do not get me wrong. I mean, yes, it's a joyous day. You know, we've lived a, a, another year. But the fact of the matter is, the, the days where, you know, where we're brainwashed and we just celebrate, woo, you know. Been as high as I don't mean as high as a kite, like in that way. What I'm saying is, is that you just woo, enjoying yourself. You see, you see that our birthday is every single flipping day, it's like Mother's Day, Father's Day. Well, I've said for years, and I'll say it again at the end of the day, isn't Mother's Day for aren't we a mother and a father every single day of the week? Not just on Mother's Day, not just on Father's Day for, for commercial. Uh, reasons and just to make pound, shilling and pence, dollars and change. No. Anyway, getting back to that with these putrid, this putrid couple. 
William and Kate. I tell you, the, the real true princes and princesses are those of us here, us, not those. And that's what I have to say. Anyway, I'm going to ring off now. Then I'm going to uh, start another video. Okay, so much love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless my little lovely.